that's what we are coming to design. So welcome to Simplicity K. Boat to the new episode, season one, episode five on how to design an attractive flyer. So here in this tutorial, we're going to design this. Without wasting much time, kindly like and subscribe if you are new here to this page. And if you are old here, you are warmly welcome. All right, guys, let's jump right into Photoshop. Creating a new page, go to File, New, and go to Print. You take A4, then you create. This is going to be this is our A4. So you come to solid color, guys. Take a solid color. You're taking a deep blue, something like that. Okay. Uh yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is the code, guys. Take okay when you are done. Alright, guys, let's move on. So what we are going to do now is to import our background images. Where are you? Where are you? All right, there he is. There it is. Okay. So this is our background. So what we are going to do? You can also press Control Plus T to free transform, and also go to File, Edit, Free Transform. Okay. All right. So here we have it. This is our background, guys. So we are going to put Blend Mode on Luminosity just as you can see so from here you're gonna create a clipping mask take your brush to me. then sorry for how my brush is appearing but you can increase it to a size that you would want to clean the, the sharp edge with increasing opacity and flow and brushing off like that like that okay guys all right so let's keep up so here we're going to filter blur, gaussian blur. Like that blur about five pixels will be okay. Let's see. Okay, not that deep, not that. So let's see the before and after. Okay, I don't know how many people are seeing it, but I'm seeing some blur inside. Okay, so reducing the opacity like that to about 80%. Okay, just as you see. Okay, going to import another picture. Okay. Alright, there we have it. So you're going to right click. Flip the Okay, let's go to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. After that we flip vertical. Then you fit to page. Okay, you increase it to fit to the page. So you're going to have something like this. So then okay guys there we have it so from here you're going to put your blend modes on overlay so when you put it on overlay let's see okay there we have it take your brush to after creating your clipping mask then you brush off some parts of the pattern so let's brush off this a bit okay all right let's see this is where we are brushing off okay that is why the effect didn't take place all right there we have it then we bring this back we have it like that okay control plus zero to zoom to fit to page okay Let's place embedded one more image. All right, there you are. So this is a pattern. So with this pattern, guys, this is a pattern. It's a PNG pattern, okay? So here, I'm going to position it down there at the extreme, extreme left corner, okay? Just like that. So when you are done, you take OK. And this should load right about now. Okay. So you put your blend mode on. I mean, the one that you you, you want. So the one that is good looking to your eyes. Okay. So I'm going to take 
I'm going to take um, let me say screen let's see light so you actually take the one that fits your eyes okay so I'm going to take screen so there we have screen all right so now what we are going to do okay this is the screen blend mode for our pattern image png image guys so this is our background so we select all and press ctrl g to go to the group layer down there and click on it so we name it in the background so let's bring in our main image Okay, hey guys, welcome. All right, so these are our men of God. I'm positioning them just as you can see on my flyer. Okay, I don't know if you like this video, I just hope I helped. But please, if you like this video, kindly like and subscribe to help your boy Simplicity Cables and also to be notified anytime I drop a new video for you. Okay, guys, there we have it. There we have it. Control T to transform, then increase to the level measurable size. Okay, like that. So, we're going to make this man big a little. Okay, let's see this. Okay, we position it to the center. Okay, you take down like that to finish. So you make sure their head level are the same and I mean their actual heads are also the same. So you create a layer mask and take your brush to and brush up the edges, sharp edges like this. So do note that you can also switch the colors, I mean the foreground colors here, switch it to white to undo every mistake you have made. So just as I'm doing. Okay, create a clipping mask, speed in to not to waste time. Okay guys, sorry for how my brush too is appearing. Okay. Okay. Let's drop in our light image. So this is our lens flare. So with this lens flare, guys, we are going to drag it and then put it on a blend mode, taking screen to give it that light effect. So with this, actually, let me bring it to the deeper part. So here we are going to create a clipping mask for it. Then we take our brush to, okay. Then we brush off the edges like that, the sharp edges, so that they don't affect our main project okay guys brush off brush off okay so from here you can put it onto any position you want so i am putting it here ctrl t to transform okay guys there we have it so you make sure you use your arrow keys to move to the left right up and down yes as you have it you can duplicate with ctrl j or drag onto this new layer icon down there to increase the brightness just as I have done so you control J to increase the to duplicate the two sorry so control T to move to the 
left like that like that so here we have four layers of the light here so two for the left the ones on the left and then two for the ones on the right okay so we're creating a new layer bringing in another photo our fire so our fire we are bringing our fire image here okay sorry check so let me send the layer above our man of god okay there we have it so we're going to put our blend mode on screen so if you have noticed we are using screen mode screen blending mode so that all the lights part of our lens flare of fire will, will come out clear just as we've seen so guys this is a new sorry this is something you can keep notes if you're a beginner on this page okay guys control t to transform sorry we want to transform this control t to transform then you send it just you have to position it so i'm positioning it right on top of my man of god at the left at the right sorry so here duplicating the control t and then move it to the left okay then you right click and flip horizontal like that so from here you are going to select both and send it beneath so under like that under the last layer so that we have the feeling like this okay so now from here we can press ctrl t transform to how you like it okay this is how i want it to be so you enlarge it like that okay so you click on the layer mask take a brush to you can also use the eraser to then clean the portion that's a, that are affecting our design okay just like that okay guys so we're going to group them or control g to group or just follow the procedure name is man of god we have our man of god with the light and fire around it so what we're going to do now is to create okay there we have it you take a rectangle to creating my rectangle on top of them like that so you're going to hold alt and then drag to the right and left to make a duplicate so here we have it left to make a duplicate you make sure it is covering their faces and make sure it is also covering their faces as well so there we have it there we have it so from here we're going to pick the colors so these are the colors Taking it, sampling it from the shadow and making it deeper. All right, we go. This is the code, guys. Then we're going to give this. So it is not always you have to sample from the shirts or something, but you can actually give them a color you wish or you deem fit, okay, to make the design attractive. All right, let's keep on. So a bit deeper because we are going to put a white text. text on it okay so there we have it okay guys let's give this the red color it means a deep red color okay there let's go with this okay okay guys so we select all and drag down to our man of god so let's first group them like that then send it below cool guys that is how you get the effect working on your design okay guys creating my other rectangle giving it a yellow color i mean yellow going down to orange you see that color type all right that's the code so you scale to fit to the ends of the rectangle okay the vertical one so whoop like that just a two single is it two double two single okay let's say we've grouped this two so two single steps Power. all right guys put it
boom this is our fire image so if you know simplicity cables and you are old here to my channel you can you can testify to the fact that almost all my designs i have my particles flying over so this is particles okay so particles just to demonstrate that there is fire i mean flying around our men of god or our image okay just to i mean show to the viewers okay all right guys there we have it control j to duplicate okay yes control j to make a duplicate if you want it to be brighter so let's group all of this and see control j to group to make our work simple okay so that we don't rush through I mean, a whole lot of layers down there so we are coming to the main part which is the text so adding of the text so we are going to first start with the head which is great okay so increasing my font size picking a color so we have to take white all right there we have it okay so i'm going to use a font by name montserrat
Okay, there we are. This is our church logo, and we are facing the church header. Okay, we're the church name. So, guys, double click here and just to go and give it a different color of value. There we have it. So, you, you hold out and drag in and out to zoom in and out. Okay, taking my rectangle like that, I'm creating my shape. So, from there, you take your text tool. And type in the church name. So I'm going to type Strong Tower Ministry. So I'll enter Ministry. Then I'm going to give a space. Okay, this is the font. I'm going to give a space between them. Okay, check done. Then you go to your move to Control T to transform. Then you enlarge it like that. Okay, like that. So moving with it. Arrow keys to so select all and control T to transform to reduce the size just like that. Okay, let's go on, guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna add our presents and our name of the man of God. So let's start with the name. All right, okay, guys, so I'm going to speed up from here so we can't waste time. Okay guys, there we have it. So we have written our man of God, the names, so grouping. Let's name it mm, church name. Oh. Okay, this is the church name. And we have our names of man of God. So let's add presents, just as I promised. Okay, so we're going to use this text font. Font, any door, any door, any door. Can you help me with the pronunciation? But there we have it okay all right guys we're going somewhere okay guys cool so there we are there we are all right guys we're not done we are left with so see ya after uploading them Okay, so you reduce the sizes, I mean, to fit your design like that. So you apply same to the other media sponsors, okay? So do note that this design is for educational purpose and this media sponsors and this man of God have nothing to do with this design. This design is purposely and genuinely made to help you increase the level of creativity in graphic designing so as this video is coming to an end i would love you to like and subscribe and i really appreciate your presence here so thank you 
for clicking to watch. Bye.